Am I just playing that bad? Can't make my stomach go in the top of the button. Uh. Even though most of the Academia's restrictions have significantly relaxed, I'm still a bit worried that the Matra might give her trouble. Yeah. No, not that for West Africa. I need to stay here to keep an eye on the situation. Kale, can you head to Sumeru City and find out why she isn't here yet? I'd only assign a job this important to someone I trust. Are you not feeling well? Oh no, I'm fine! I've completely recovered! It's just that if I'm going to see her... Um... I think I need to mentally prepare myself first. <sighs> I know, I know. You'll have a tough time if you go by oh. yourself. Oh. If we could arrange for someone to accompany you... Oh! Hey there! Ah, it's been a while! What a coincidence. I was just thinking about asking you to accompany... Co Sorry, that's not what I meant. It's just that this matter... ...concerns research banned by the Academia. Not the sort of thing you'd shout from the rooftops. Also, you happen to know about this situation? There are very few people I can trust to be discreet right now. After giving it much thought, I believe you're the most suitable person for the task. It's complicated, and this isn't the best place to talk about it. Okay. We'll fill you in on the details once she arrives. You might have heard about her in Sumeru before. Her name is Faruzan, and she's a very experienced senior researcher. Let's just say that a huge part of Kisharawar's mechanical research over the past 100 years have used her academic discourse in manuscripts as their foundation. She is, but she vanished for 100 years because of a certain incident. She only returned to the Academia after being found in the wilderness a few years ago. Because of that, her current personality can be a bit... Uh, strange, as is her attitude towards Kale. Oh, I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. She doesn't have bad intentions, so you don't have to be scared. Uh, I'll try. Uh... Yes, Kisharawar and Spontamod researchers are often quite prejudiced, so I can't trust them with this matter. However, Faruzan isn't influenced by modern thinking. In our previous correspondence through letters, she indicated that she'd be willing to help. It's already past our arranged meeting time, but she still hasn't shown up. I don't think so. With her personality, it's more likely that she got wrapped up in some sort of trouble. Anyway, can you go with Kale to the Academia and check on Farazan for me? I hate that I don't see Tanari or any... I think hearing of Chris <sighs> Thank goodness! I was so anxious. I'm counting on you two. Kale, 
Let Don't push yourself too go. hard. Just go there and see what's going on. No, I cannot. Our task is important, but not that urgent. If Faruzan really is in some trouble, come back and tell me about it. We can always reschedule our meeting. After all, if she's distracted by other things, it'll affect her ability to help us. All right, let's go! Sorry, what did you say? Oh, could you repeat yourself? Oh, As you know, I'm sure. Hearing goes with age. No, Farzan, I... I said that you need to give us an answer. Ah, yes. And did you forget to add madam when you addressed me earlier? Your hearing is perfectly fine. <clears throat> madam, oh, oh, Farzan. Farzan. We don't want to make things difficult for you. However, you haven't been teaching courses or supervising theses these past few years. Isn't this rather problematic as an advisor? Jenny just came back Never mind the students. Yes, Even other advisors are starting to complain. She was trying to hold you. If I may ask, that. complained. If they have any issue with me, tell them to talk to me themselves rather than waste any of your time. Um. <laughs> you don't have to tell me anything. I very well know that it's those people from Haravatat. How I wish they'd put their time into doing proper research instead. But, Madam Farzan, it has been a long while since you last made any practical academic contribution yourself. Uh, <coughs> ahem. Academic contribution cannot simply be divided between the tangible and the intangible. The issue here, I believe, is that the, the reviewer doesn't understand the very nature of knowledge itself. In any case, Isn't there's that a no sense to use line? a metric like this to evaluate a mentor. Which sage set this rule anyway? I should write a letter of complaint right this instant. Oh, awesome. Wait, Madam Farzan, please let me finish. That's her, all right. But the person with her doesn't look like a matra. I'm not. I have third booty. I have third wet booty. Shh! She hates it when people call her young! Her body apparently stopped aging during the year she was gone. So that's why she looks the same as she did a hundred years ago. <sighs> okay, I think I'm ready for this. Let's go! Anyway, Akara Crafts and the leader of Kisharawar would like to invite you to collaborate on this project. Mm. They're wondering if you'd be interested. Uh... Madam Farzan, are you listening? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Kale, why are you here at the academia? Are you feeling better now? I'm m much better, Madam Farzan. <laughs> it's all thanks to the Traveler and the Dendro Archon. Have you been sleeping well? You seem to be developing some eye bags. Is that brat Tainari forcing you to stay up late again? No, it's because I'm a slow learner. It's not Master's fault. It's good to be hardworking, but you need to take care of your health. I'll have to give Tainari a right talking to when I see him. Mm. I'll also prepare some health supplements for you. Uh, there's really no need. Well, like she seems to ah. care about you. And is the person beside you the legendary traveler? <laughs> she does come off strong. Uh, sorry, I'm in the rest of the game. Right. Okay. Oh, I've heard much about you before. In fact, I've been meaning to meet you for a while now. It is thanks to you, after all, that the academia is finally getting back on its feet. Even Kali's illness is... Ahem. <clears throat> Madam Faruzan, I believe we were still discussing the collaboration with Akara Crafts. Yes. I'd wager it's those Kasharwar Dunderheads finding excuses so that I'd go to their oh, Darshan. Say no more. I have no plans to change my field of research. <sighs> if you're this unwilling to participate in the collaborative project, you can also consider teaching a class. 
It might be difficult to teach a course with topics that only fall within Haravitat's subjects, but we can't delay this anymore. You need to give an answer. You can teach a course or participate in a collaborative project. If you don't do either, it'll be hard for me to persuade the advisors and students who have been complaining. Could you not give me a few more days to consider? This matter has been delayed for so long already. That's precisely the issue. If you don't give an answer today, I fear that someone will soon escalate their complaints to the Sages. What a waste of free time these folks are. Now you two are here at Tainari's behest, I take it. I'm sorry, but given the current situation, it looks like I'll have to come over some other day. Um... Of course. I shall need some time to think as well. What now? She seems so busy. Master said there's no rush, but I know that he's been busy working on something at Pardis DI, so he hasn't returned to Gandarverville for several days now. I feel for Madame Farazan, but I still want to ask her to come with us. But if I get her in trouble with the Academia, then she won't have the time to help Master. What should I do? Oh, this is such a headache. Unknown. Mm. Yeah, it'll take it'll longer be the best for them both. I'll check with Master later and see if there's anything I can help him with. Mm. But I'm Good sure name. he'll say, the best thing you can do now is study hard, so I don't have to give you remedial lessons. Let me just check all my... Uh, right, let's keep going. Huh? Oh, yes! This way she can get her problem sorted out quickly, and then she can go see Master. So, if I also stay and help... Uh, <laughs> that still sounds kind of scary. Okay, then. I'm counting on you. I have to teach students from Haravitat or Okasharawar a favor. It strikes me that they might be even less happy about such a deal than I am. <laughs> I think I can sympathize with them. We're back, Madame Farazan. The Traveler said that he can stay and help you. <laughs> oh, why I couldn't ask for more. In fact, I'm rather curious about the type of person the Traveler is. You were the one who taught Azara a lesson after all. That said, will I be troubling you? Why didn't you get a vault? Oh. I didn't know. Shall I Is that so? Problem? Good. It does so happen that I do have something I need help with. Now, should I apply to teach a course with Haravitat, or join the collaborative project that Kosharawar is proposing? You want to? Honestly, I don't want to choose either of them. I don't know if Tainari's told you about this before, but while my research involves learning about ruins and the mechanisms within them, I don't belong to Kasharawar, which specializes in researching mechanisms, nor am I in Spontamod, which specializes in researching energy flow. Instead, I'm part of Haravitat, which specializes in languages and scripts. She has been invited to Kasharawar multiple times to continue- Just listen to how they introduce themselves. In the future, Kasharawar will be the only Darshan with the ability to research mechanisms. Hm. There's no such thing as exclusivity in knowledge. Besides, the current Kasharawar is more concerned about how mechanisms can be used in everyday life, while my research involves textual analysis of ruins. If they're trying to use the collaborative project as an excuse to have me reconsider again, no, that's not it. The request this time is from Akara Crafts. The representative of Kisharawar recommended you to them, Madame Farazan. In truth, she told me that it's because she respects you a lot. 
Oh, re <laughs> respect? <laughs> oh, my. <clears throat> Putting aside my ideological differences with Kosharawar, I suppose I must acknowledge this attitude of theirs. At the very least, they're bounds above those decrepit Haravatat fools. Sounds like all the classes have problems. Yeah, Akara Crafts is a pretty nice shop. Hmm. Well, since both of you feel as such, I shall first hear this proposal. In summary, Akara Crafts wants to design a series of early learning toys that will cultivate curiosity and learning in children. Hmm. Early learning toys. Interesting. The Academia agreed to work with them because they hope that these toys can help children become excellent researchers in the future. True. That's my... The current yeah. Academia is in need of some new blood. If the children start learning now, perhaps I can find some talented students in a few years. Madam Farazan, you still haven't found any students? Anise, Kasharawar's representative, should be staying in the inn at Port Ormos. If you want more details, you can find her there. Port Ormos? Now there's a place I haven't been to in a long time. I wonder how much it's changed. I probably can't join you since Port Ormos is a little far from here. I, I should probably go back and report to Master, and then review today's homework. No worries. Go to your homework, Kale. Once I'm done with everything here, I'll head over to Pardistii. Thank you. Why, I'd even call this a rare chance for a curious researcher like myself to, to observe the legendary traveler up close. Ah, we're next table. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, well. I'll stand down this time. Next time you get in my way. Oh. One with nature. Calm down. Let me be clear. I'm still not all that interested in Kasharawar. I'm just here to see how the project is going. After all, you're here as representatives of the Academia in this collaboration. The reputation of all research is at stake here, so I will not simply stand by should mistakes get made. <laughs> Either way, it's good that you were willing to come. Now, we've given Akara Crafts many ideas over the past couple of days. <laughs> However, their owner thinks that our designs are too complicated, which will drive production costs. That's expected. Oops. Students who have never had to deal with budgetary constraints probably don't understand how important it is to keep costs low. <sighs> how enviable. <Ouch>. Oh, uh, <clears throat> But she is right. Um, I wonder like, how they go about getting kids into I know it's a desert folk, it's near impossible. There was that one lady that did, but other than that, it hasn't been. If you join the Kasharawar, your budget will be as big as you want it to be. I guarantee it. That's enough. I will not repeat myself. Take me to a car crafts owner first, if you please. <sighs> All right. He's usually at the slope up ahead recruiting volunteers to test out his toys. Let's just head over. Ripping up already. Do. The one I recommended is oh. here. Oh, 
Oh, uh, so you're, uh, Madame Farazan? Yes, that's me. Ah, oh, wonderful. We haven't been able to make any progress on our collaboration recently. We've made many suggestions, but Miss Anis thought that those ideas were too simple and wouldn't be effective in training the mind. These early learning toys are meant to help the academia train future researchers, after all. If they're too simple, then how are they any different from regular toys? But if they're too complicated, not only will they be expensive oh. to produce considering our production capabilities, but they won't have much broad appeal to Sumeru's children either. So the design can't be too complicated, but it can't be too easy to play with either. Rubik's Hmm. I remember that in your notes, many contraptions have managed to fulfill complex functions despite using simple parts. Maybe we can do something similar with these early learning toys. The contraptions in my notes? I didn't create those. I simply took the contraptions and the ruins apart and analyzed them. But now that you mention it, the ruins did have things like that. Do you have a pen, paper, and scissors? I'll make a paper prototype. You have an idea already? I suppose I should have expected as much of a respected academia senior researcher. We do have those. Yes, please, help yourself. Oh, you're done already? No questions. Listen, I have some. I guess I'll be cut. They put an end at fire. Well, they have steel blades. I guess it's possible. Refined steel top metal. Let me explain. These three thick lines represent three poles. These paper strips of varying lengths represent rings of different sizes. They can be slotted onto the poles and stacked up like a tower. Well, that is easier to make than I expected. So, how is this game played? That's very simple as well. You just need to shift the tower from this pole to another pole. Um, isn't this a little too simple? Uh, even by the standards of an early learning toy, I mean. Of course, when moving each ring, the paper strips in this case, you must follow one rule. You can only move one ring at a time, and you can't place a bigger ring on top of a smaller one. It's like building a tower. The rings in the three poles must be stacked from big to small. I named this toy Pagoda Stack. Hmm, Pagoda Stack. That sounds way too simple. Even I feel like it's missing something. Give it a try and you'll find out if it's simple or not. I heard from Anis that you find volunteers to try out the toys, right? Why don't we do the same for this game? It's such a simple toy. Uh, there's no need to... Mandu, let's just do as she says. <laughs> uh, hey. uh, okay, then. Is it similar to what I'm thinking? And that's how you play this game. You can all give it a try. Let's see who's able to move the tower to another pole in the smallest number of steps. You called everyone here for such a simple toy? It doesn't look like it'll take that many steps. Come on, we all promised to help Mr. Mamdu test out the new toys. He said he'd give us new Genius Invocation TCG cards. Ah, uh, you're always the last half of your guy, aren't you? Every time what these three are involved, this one's always the one that'll be like, Come on, guys, let's do this anyway. We're in the void. So they're lured in by the promise of new cards. Ugh, fine. Let's get this over and done with so we can head back and play cards. Done! It took me 19 steps. Huh? Oh. It took me over 20 steps. <laughs> I only needed 18 steps. Not bad. Looks like you're all familiar with the rules now. Then let's increase the difficulty. The next tower will be five layers tall. Now then, give it a shot.
Wait, there's more? Well, since we're already here, why don't we just I give it a what... try? An extra layer shouldn't make it that much harder, right? What's going on? I've already moved over 30 steps, but I'm still not done yet. <laughs> I'm almost done. Looks like I'm the faster one this time. Done! It took me 35 steps. What? How? This pagoda stack toy is pretty fun to play with. Good. We'll try it one final time. This time, we'll add two more layers, making seven layers in total. That's about it. Jesus Christ. What's my mind? How? Mamdu, we've still got quite a few paper strips here. Why don't you give this a go as well? Do you need that many steps for something this simple? Let me try. Madam Farazan, allow me to try it as well. <laughs> I never picked it up. You were looking at it quite seriously just now. Are you starting to understand the principles involved? I think so. If you want to test out your hypothesis, you'll just have to play and find out. Got it. Ah, we don't have enough paper strips left for you, Traveler. However, by the looks of things, you seem to have the game figured out. Mm. Nah, you lost me. Why don't you guess what the lowest number of steps needed to solve a seven-layer pagoda stack is? Okay. Oh, color me impressed. You figured it out so quickly. Let's see how well they do then. How would you know? How did you even work if that I out? If I move this small ring, then the big one won't be able to go on top of it. Oh, well, this is going to take more steps than I expected. I, I've lost count of how many steps I've taken. Can I restart? No. This got a lot harder. Hmm. <gasps> I solved it. Madam Faruzan, it takes 127 steps in total. That many? But there are only seven layers. For every extra layer in the pagoda stack, the move order you need to consider becomes much more complex, and the number of steps required will at least double. More accurately, it will require double the steps, plus one each time. You did well. You didn't underestimate the principles behind it just because it's an early learning toy. The complexity of any given contraption isn't determined by the number of parts it has. The way the parts interact and the rules behind how it operates are important, too. Oh, I see. No wonder you emphasized in your notes that no contraption should ever be underestimated. I see. So even a simple toy can become complex with the right set of rules. That's right. The rules used for Bogota Stack are the simplest kind when it comes to ancient contraption-making techniques. I could spend some time picking out all those machines that do something similar and write you a reference book. Once that happens, you can give the volunteers the reference book and paper prototypes and find out which toy is the most popular. Do you have any other toys? Yeah, when can we play with them? Uh, in about two days or so, I think. Anise, if you're free, can you help me with the illustrations for the reference book? <laughs> of course. Yeah, I'd be honored. Love it. Two days should be enough for us to find more volunteers. Then we can organize a huge conference here, at which we can announce which toy we'll be making. Yes. You'd be most welcome. We need more people to get a healthy range of opinions. The more, the merrier. Thank you for coming here with me today. Sure. I'll walk back with you. Be right back. Just go there. Wash you another.
<laughs> All right. Wash machine, yeah. Uh, don't need to wash so many towels. I filled up the indoor wash lines. Just on the chair. Right. I'll be going then. Say hi to Tainari and Kale for me if you can. Once everything here is settled, I'll make my way over to Pardis Di as quickly as I can. Anise, we haven't had much time to get to know each other, but she seems like a good kid. Were you awake for those 100 years? We've been here for 200 She's years able more. to calmly figure out the basic principles behind something without being influenced by others. I'll do my best to teach her over the next few days. Still, how much she learns will really depend on her. Well, her interest lies in the application of mechanisms. I do have some old knowledge to share, but if we think about the future, it's easier for her to learn the things she's interested in if she stays in Kasharawar. My research into mechanisms is, in a sense, a side effect of my research into ancient texts. If she becomes my student to learn how to make modern contraptions, it wouldn't benefit either of us in the long run. However, if she develops an interest in deciphering ancient texts over these next two days, that would change things. If I successfully poach a student, those young punks at Haravatot will have one less reason to cut my budget. Perhaps if this collaborative project goes smoothly, I can even ignore Haravatot and ask for a higher budget directly from the Academia. Oh, I could come up with lots of ideas. With Anissa's help, two days will be enough for our work. However, I'm still undecided as to the style of the reference book's text and illustrations. You're right. Explanations are a core part of early development, too. By using detailed and accurate illustrations, we can impart knowledge more effectively. It would also make it easier for me to recruit students. Thank you. I'll take your opinion into account. See you in two days. Right. Oh. I'm like looking now. Yeah. I'll say that ten fifty. That seven fifty. Yeah, I said that. Seven forty, whatever it is. I don't know anymore. Now, don't want to wait another. Six more days of black. Should come over the Oh, you're here. We're just starting to set up the venue. We've called up everyone we possibly could have. This is going to be quite the event. <laughs> My masterpiece is going to be exhibited after all. Let's see what the academia shall say about it this time. To sum up, the 24 forms of pressure-based puzzle mechanisms were used in various ruins. All right, let's go to the next page. Now, I'll explain the base layer design of elemental monuments. <sighs> Are we done yet? Oh, I'm falling asleep. I don't understand any of it at all. That's one. Oh. Mm. 
that's what we meant to Are these really toys? They sound a bit too dangerous to buy for children. Oh. Uh, well, we've prepared paper prototypes for everyone. If you're interested in the mechanisms Madame Farazan's talked about, you're more than welcome to try them out. Oh, this is no fun. Can I try another toy? I want to go home and play Jimmy's Invocation TCG. How's that? Fuck up. How's that? Make it stop. Forget it. I don't think anyone would be interested. I should go home and take care of my children. Hmm. Uh, how did this happen? Forget about getting opinions from others. No one even wanted to stay and try them out. I'm sorry. I think we miscalculated. No. You simply gave suggestions. I was the one who decided to follow through. Anise, too, was only following my instructions. I will find a way to make up for this error. Please, give me some time. I'll write another reference book. Excuse me, but are you the one who wrote this reference book? Uh, yes. Who are you? Ah, you're that man mountain who was in the crowd just now. <laughs> do I stand out that much? Well, I guess I don't look like someone who'd have anything to do with toys. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kamal, the branch master of Sumero's Adventurer's Guild. What's the branch master doing here? Were you looking for us, or did something happen? I came to Port Ormos to visit some old friends. On the way over, I saw the booklet you were handing out, so I came to take a look. Can you print a few more copies of this booklet and sell them to the Adventurer's Guild? Also, could you make full-fledged models of those paper prototypes and sell them to us as well? What does the Adventurer's Guild want with these toys? You may see them as toys, but to adventurers who need to deal with all sorts of machines and contraptions within ancient ruins, this booklet is a true treasure. We have many members who can't read, so books are of little use to them. What they know of handling mechanisms has been learned solely through word of mouth. Even if the Academia granted public access to all their books, there are people who can't use them. Ah, and our booklet is practically all pictures. Well, it is designed for children. Mm, it might be a bit too difficult for children, but it's perfect for adventurers. Also, uh, those paper strips, you called them paper prototypes? If you can make wooden versions for demonstration purposes, even the most illiterate person would be able to follow along and understand. If we can supply a model set for each branch, and if each adventurer carries a booklet with them, then ruin exploration will become much safer. You really think so? <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, I always knew it. Knowledge will always be needed, one way or another. Making models of contraptions for the Adventurers Guild? To be honest, that sounds like a good avenue to explore to me. That's right, yeah. Uh, we'll probably have to send in a separate application, but it shouldn't be an issue. After all, this concerns safety during the exploration of ruins. It's a problem that the Academia is actually trying to address as well. Then let's cut to the chase and discuss the details of our first order. <laughs> the amount we're offering to pay in advance is... this much. <gasps> okay. I have that much money? Into the wind. Even more it has to be worth something. Makes more sense to continue from the area you're in. And I 
all the way I'll back. I'll be going then. Say hi to Tainar. You want to ask why I'm unwilling to join them, yes? Putting aside the fact that they're too full of themselves, I actually have no issue with their research methodologies and approach. After all, knowledge is either right or wrong. Superiority and inferiority do not come into the conversation. All researchers are just doing their best to shed light on the unknown in their respective fields of expertise. No matter what corner of the unknown they shed light on, it's a step forward for us all. Because I believe wholeheartedly in that principle. Even if the others call my research useless, as long as the knowledge I gain from it is accurate, it could become useful in the future. Yeah. In the end, useful and useless are concepts that shouldn't be used to evaluate knowledge. When I first started deciphering ancient documents, I didn't think about how it'd be useful to Kasharawar. That's why there's no need yeah. for me to join them to do useful research. I'd rather stay in Haravatat. It's much more convenient for me to access the materials I need for my research here. <sighs> Still, the funding that Kasharawar has offered me is so hard to get in Haravatat. Perhaps if this collaborative project goes smoothly, I can even ignore Haravatat and ask for a higher budget directly from the Academia. Oh, I could come up with lots of ideas. With Anissa's help, two days will be enough for our work. I'm still undecided as to the style of the reference book's text and illustrations. You're right. If no one understands the reference book, it doesn't matter how detailed it is. It's better to make it simpler and fun so that children will be interested in the subject. It'll also make it easier for me to recruit students in the long run. Thank you. I'll take your opinion into account. Very well, I was... One with nature. It will be flying for two days now. Oh, you're here. We're just starting to set up the venue. We've called up everyone we possibly could have. This is going to be quite the event. <laughs> My masterpiece is going to be exhibited after all. Let's see what the Academia shall say about it this time. And if we activate this little mechanism just like that... A Sumeru rose will appear at the top of the cane. Oh, I see. I thought it came out of thin air. It's amazing. If the mechanism was bigger, you could make a rabbit appear, right? Then you can't use a cane. Could you switch it out with a hat or something? You're applying what you learned creatively. Not bad. Let's look at the next page. If you fold an origami bird like this, it'll fly further and more stably. Whoa. You can make a mechanism using just a piece of paper? <laughs> the principles at play are even more important than the parts that make up a mechanism. These are pretty cool. I'm tempted to try them out. Oh, I mean, I'm wow. not that interested in toys, but if they'll be beneficial for children's development... Everyone, we have paper prototypes and craft materials that you can use to make your own toys. Come try them out. This is such a well-prepared event. <laughs> I'll give it a go. But we want to play, too! It's fine. We have a lot of paper prototypes and craft materials. All feedback is also welcome. Oh! My origami bird flew further this time! Uh, Professor Farazan? How can I make mine fly further? Ahem. Just madam will do. Maybe in the future, you may indeed get the chance to call me professor. You may wish to pay attention to these few details. Here, for example. All right. Try it again. Wow! It really did fly farther! 
Madame Barazan, will we learn origami at the Academia? Of course you will. If you become a researcher, you can explore any field you like to your heart's content. Oh, In the future, oh. if you want, you can even become one of my students. But Mom and Dad said that there are six Darshans in the Academia. Wait, was it seven? Which Darshan teaches about mechanisms in origami? Well, uh, in this case, it wouldn't be Haravatat. Mm. I know. We need to choose Kisharawar. Huh? I want to attend Kisharawar in the future and fold even better origami birds. Uh, I want to make even more awesome mechanisms! Actually, the other Darshans do have their own specialties, too. For example, Haravatat specializes in... Pay attention, children! Ch children! Yeah. How did this happen? What if we end up in a Darshan we don't like? Does that mean that we won't get to learn about the things we do like? Hmm... <sighs> no, that won't happen. Take me, for example. I'm a researcher from Haravatat, but I research mechanisms, see? The only person able to restrict your curiosity as a researcher is you. Uh, do you, you understand what I'm saying? Um, oh. not really. Huh. It's all right. You still have a long road ahead of you. Now, do you want to learn about some other machines? Let me tell you a story about pressure-based mechanisms and elemental monuments. Okay. Academia, wouldn't it make Farazan's situation more awkward? And if the Academia investigated and found her at Party's DI, things would get even worse for her. Do you have some way to invite her over to Party's DI without stepping on the Academia's toes? Okay then, I'm counting on you. I'm coming, yeah. I have to teach students from Haravatat or Okasharawar a favor. It strikes me that they might be even less happy about such a deal than I am. <laughs> I think I can sympathize with them. Madam Farzan, we're back. <sighs> Sorry for asking again. <coughs> but are you sure you can't go to parties the eye today? <sighs> well, since you're asking me so sincerely, let's just ignore the academia and... Please, Madam Farazan, focus. Today's the deadline. Huh? Ah, ah, yes. I see, I see. No wonder he sent you two over. Why, that lad didn't make it very clear in his letter, now uh, did he? Otherwise, I would have reported it as part of my research. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Master sent us over right. to explain everything to you. Uh, wait. Opportunities for collaborative research don't just come out of thin air. This seems like too much of a coincidence. Also, oh, there the isn't much overlap between Madame Farazan's research and that of Amorta, right? What will you even be collaborating on? Uh, Master wants to research, uh... A fully automated irrigation system. A fully automated irrigation system? Precisely. Um, 
It's a system that can automatically adjust the amount of water it provides based on the season and the plant species involved. I saw a similar mechanism while exploring a rune in the rainforest. That's why Tainari wanted to collaborate with me. A mechanism like that exists? Why haven't I heard of it before? I, uh... I found it a hundred years ago, so it's only natural that you don't know about it. Why don't you go ask your teacher's teacher? Perhaps they've heard about it from their teacher. Uh, but we can't prove its existence one way or the other, right? Fred not. I'll have Tainari write an official proposal to the Academia later. That should do it, right? An official proposal. <sighs> Fine. We haven't made any progress with either the collaborative project or the elective course anyway. I'll go inform my superiors now. Oh, sorry, when you... Please do take care when of the paperwork as soon as possible. Right, so. Don't delay this any longer. Sure. I'll be sure to needle him until he gets it done. Phew. I think she bought it. Even though this is our first meeting, I must say, we make a good team. Wow! You made up that excuse on the spot, huh? Um, Madam Farazan, did you really find an irrigation system a hundred years ago? Uh, if the Academia asks for any details... Who knows? It's been a hundred years, so it wouldn't be too surprising if I've forgotten a few details, no? Huh? Uh, then how will we explain things to them? Just nice <laughs> I'll let Tainari worry about whatever documents we might need to send to the Academia. If I'm right, the request he has in store for me won't be any simpler than the Academia nonsense. No, get down with me. He just pushed the entire fucking power board There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, the if you wish to hear it. Damage. What was an accident? Master! We're back! Huh? Where did he go? You don't have to shout. I can hear you. Well, you got here much faster than I expected. I thought you'd have a lot more business to take care of. Thanks to the Traveler, I was able to, uh, pawn off various problems of mine onto others. Onto others? What does that mean? Uh, we, we can discuss that later. You're looking for me because of the thing you mentioned in the letter, right? That's right. Please, follow me. <coughs> That's my what are you doing? Can't just scream at walls all the time, Bob. Is this about uh kind of friend? Oh no, what happened to him? Oh no, I can't show her. No! A, a monster? Why is there a monster here? Collie, you've Don't never met him? Don't be scared, Kale. This is the mechanical life form the Traveler and I saved a while back. Its name is Carcata. It's the final work of a late junior of mine. You mean Abatui? He must have been a genius to create one of such polish all by himself. It's uncommon that a Spongemod researcher is able to create such an intricate machine. If he were still around, we could probably oh. chat the day away. <sighs> what a shame. Are we just hmm. going to tell Farzan about it? Something seems wrong here. Have you been maintaining it? Mechanical life forms are much more fragile than they look. Uh, is Karkata <laughs> sick? Karkata has been lying down like this since a few days ago. It could be an old malfunction acting up again. I've taken a few courses conducted by Spontamod before, so I've managed to perform some passable repairs on Karkata's energy supply module. However, it seems the issue this time is with its transmission. 
My knowledge can only prevent its condition from deteriorating any further. But, Madame Faruzan, you should be able to find a way to repair it. Not necessarily. Mechanical life forms are created using techniques from alchemy, elemental science, and more. There are multiple modules here that influence each other. A simplistic knowledge of mechanisms will not serve here. You know that as well. Each mechanical life form is very different from the next. So even I cannot be sure if my understanding of mechanical life forms is going to be of any use to our little crab friend here. Oh, Karkata. <sighs> Can you all go outside for a minute? I need a bit of space. Before I do a thorough check, everything we've just said is but conjecture. All right. We're counting on you, Madame Faruzan. We'll wait here till Faruzan finishes her inspection. In the meantime, I'd like to talk to you about her. We've been keeping it a secret from academia for so long. Her past, huh? Quite a few people in the academia know about what happened to her. Perhaps it'd be best if I'm the one to tell you. I've told you before that she disappeared for 100 years, right? From her perspective, trapped might be a more apt description. Her exact words were... That ruin was crawling with traps and coded inscriptions from wall to wall. I did all I could to decipher the code and deactivate the traps to escape the ruin, but there was no way out. I lost track of time and I ran out of pen and paper. In the end, I had to use stone shards to write on the walls and on the floor to decipher the code. Then, before I realized it, I ran out of space on the walls and floor. I had to calculate all the possibilities in my mind. After that, my memory started to become fuzzy, and my cognition slowed down. She doesn't remember anything else, including the location of the ruin and how she finally managed to escape. Ah. When she was found in the outskirts of Sumeru a few years ago, she looked exactly the same as she did 100 years prior. However, she was in a stupor and struggled to form sentences. Only after a lengthy recovery period could she speak again. The academia speculates that she must have gotten trapped in an unknown ruin while researching machines a century ago. And We've because of the ruin's special ruin. properties that halted her aging, she was able to use those 100 years to crack the trapping mechanism and then escape. Though she had finally broken free, 100 years had passed. Everyone she knew, and everyone who knew her, was already gone. In the end, even the Academia had to rely on century-old records in the Akasha to confirm her existence. Oh my god, buddy. Don't make that face. I'm not telling you this because I want to drum up sympathy. She wouldn't want others to pity her because of past events. Rather, she sees that period of entrapment as an experimental error. As a researcher, she must accept everything that results from her experiments, even if they don't fall within expectations. Even after going through so much, she's returned to Sumeru and still hasn't given up on her research. Due to changes over the years and drift in academic subjects, she holds some rather strong opinions about the current academia, and she has no shortage of detractors herself. What I want to say is that no matter what era we're in, Faruzan is a true senior researcher in every sense of the word. She has her own deep understanding of various ruins and machines. If there's a chance, you should talk about them with her. It'll definitely be helpful for your journey. Master, Madame Faruzan's done. Oh, let's head over. With any luck, she might have figured something out. I never thought that I'd encounter a restitution module once again after a hundred years. Abitui really installed quite a few impressive things on this. If my guess is correct, this mechanical life form has displayed attempts at self sustenance before, right? Such as collecting parts to repair itself, for instance? It used them for something else, but as far as its design goes, it does have a function like that. I 
I knew it. If I'm not wrong, Karkata's issue lies with its restitution module. Abatui's modified this module extensively, but the core parts and design philosophy are very similar to the principles as I know them. They are all based on principles learned from the ruins. The creators of the ruins machine once tried to create a perpetual mechanism that could replace life or even surpass it. The restitution module is the result of one of their countless attempts. It replicates the behavior of living things to achieve a self-repair function. However, the energy required in maintenance of the module became an issue. Uh, energy consumption? Maintenance? For example, a living thing's heart can deliver nutrients and blood to various organs. However, the bigger the living thing, the more powerful the heart needs to be. Once the heart is damaged, it'll be hard for that living thing to heal itself, and even the function of other organs can be affected. Thus, the attempt wasn't widely adopted. Even a hundred years ago, I'd only seen it once before. Oh dear, this is going to be a problem. Based on my current research, I'll need to swap out the damaged parts in the restitution module to repair Karkata. But like I just said, the module is rare, even by the standards of ancient machines. Not only that, but there is very little related research documentation available. Finding suitable parts would be like trying to find a single gear in the vast desert, to say nothing of the difficulty in making those parts from scratch. <sighs> One can only wonder where Abatui found the original parts. I might have an idea. Abatui was, for a time, quite passionate about excavating the Great Red Sand. This was when he had just gotten expelled from the Academia. You mean to say he found a restitution module in the desert? Hmm... Well, that is indeed possible. But the desert's huge! How are we supposed to find the parts that Karkata needs? I'll According to the Academia's records, no similar parts have been found in the Great Red Sand over the past hundred years. If we want to try our luck, we'll have to explore ruins that have never been explored before. I do know that a Vahumana researcher formed an expedition team after the sandstorms and earthquakes subsided. They are now exploring areas of the desert that used to be difficult to access. Should we ask them if they've made any new discoveries lately? The chances are slim, but it's at least more effective than running around like headless chickens. His name is Raid. I think he's stationed at the northeast part of the Hypostyle Desert. Let's go look for him once Karkata settles down. Oh, you and Kale should probably stay. Karkata's condition may be stable, but it would still be better if some of us stay to look after it. Besides, you still need to take care of the trouble that the Academia left for me. Trouble from the Academia? I thought you said you pawned it off to someone else. Wait, don't tell me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll let Kale fill you in on the details. I look forward to seeing your work, Tainari. Also, why are you on top of the fridge? He's just lying on top of the fridge like it's just on top of the Well, it looks like I found a module. Do you take this down yourself? You wouldn't mind if I, uh... Alright, a few things, would you? What is this? Halt! Mr. Raid's permission is required to proceed any further. That still won't do. Mr. Raid told us to keep people away from the ruins so they don't damage the site. Damage the site? I've excavated more ruins than you've visited restaurants. Which batch of students is Raid from? I want to see him right now. He isn't at the campsite now. You should all leave. Only he can give you permission to enter. <sighs> what a when stubborn guy. Hmm, you're right. Even if there is new information, we still have to wait for him to come back so we can ask him about it. So let's just see what we can find out from the people here. Hm. I'm going to give that Raid a good talking to when he gets back. Starting from who in the world mentored you. Oh, 
Okay, I'll be taking that now. Halt. Mr. Raid's per Halt. Mr. Raid's permission is required to proceed. I accept it. Very perceptive. That machine looks amazing. Could it be the legendary Ruin Wanderer? The location seems to fit too. Might that legend actually be true? Thing. We were only hired to deliver water and supplies to them. Forget excavation. They won't even let us get close to the camp where they're staying. <laughs> Time to go. This area used to be ravaged by frequent sandstorms. But it's been calm lately for some reason. They say that this was done by a single traveler? But seriously, is such a thing even humanly possible? Well, I found out everything I could. Is there anything that stands out to you? Ruin Wanderer. That's the first time I've heard that name. But that wreckage did seem it's a bit far away. And I can't really say for sure from this distance. Perhaps we should ask the villager from before about the legend first. Huh? What are you guys doing back here? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for not knowing about it, youngsters. After all, it's a tale that's over a decade old. It's said that this monster, the Ruin Wanderer, traversed through various ruins for centuries. Many adventurers had claimed to see it while exploring. Some said that it was like a giant, while others said that it was like a beast. However, none knew why it wandered the ruins. Then, about ten years ago, we stopped hearing any news about it in Sumeru. No one has seen it since then. And the legend has since faded into memory. You youngsters probably don't know about the Ruin Wanderer nowadays, but it was famous for centuries. Centuries? Impossible. I heard nothing about it back then. It could only have been around for a few decades at most. Wait, back then? Indulge my curiosity for a moment. Why do you think that wreckage is the Ruin Wanderer? Well, I had also heard that secondhand from. You heard that nonsense from the Aramites after they got drunk, right? Hmm? Who are you? Madam Faruzan, it is a pleasure. I'm Raid, the one who organized this archaeological expedition. I'd heard of you at the Academia, but I didn't expect to run into you here. Truly, it is an honor. And this must be the famous traveler, I presume. What brings the two of you here? Have None you found of your any special concern. contraptions and relics in the ruins that you've been investigating? Ah, uh, I'm ashamed to say that we haven't found anything noteworthy, even though we've been investigating for a while now. Really? That ruin wanderer isn't noteworthy to you? <laughs> I'm afraid those are mere rumors. Really, I sometimes wish that those people would put as much effort into their work as they do into gossiping. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're right, sir. <clears throat> I'll get back to work now. The wise do not buy into rumors, so it is said. I believe that you too, Madam Farazan, do not put any stock into such baseless talk. It is also said that real knowledge shall come from practice. I can help you research the excavated relics and see if I can find out anything new about them. You can take credit for any new discoveries. I believe this offer to be sufficiently attractive. Ah, uh, in truth, I could ask for nothing better than your help with our research. 
However, uh, you two must be tired after a long journey. I'd feel bad if I set you to work immediately. No, I guess it's I getting so. late, and my subordinates and I are heading back to the camp to rest. Why don't you find a place to spend the night first? We can continue our discussion tomorrow. There's a tent that the villagers occasionally use to rest. It's a bit simple, yes, but I hope you won't mind. Since you need to rest as well, let's do just that. That's not, I feel like it's up or something. <sighs> <sighs> this is quite far away. Are they trying to prevent the villagers from eavesdropping on them? This suits us just fine, though. This way, they won't overhear our conversations either. Now, I have my suspicions about this archaeological expedition team and that machine wreckage. I only caught a quick glimpse, and it was from a distance. But based on the condition of the armor and joints, it didn't seem like something that had been lying around for centuries. At most, I'd estimate that it only stopped moving about a dozen years ago. Yes, the timing coincides with the spreading of the legend. Now, assuming that it really is the Ruin Wanderer, how do you suppose it was able to maintain a relatively good condition despite high-intensity operation over the course of several decades? That's right. Technically speaking, the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on the mechanical life forms I've seen before. Well, this was over a hundred years ago. It was a machine about the same size as Karkata, actually. It couldn't carry heavy objects or fight, and was only able to help me record some notes. It also helped me deliver letters home. I found it near the desert, which is why I wondered if there might be more restitution modules buried around here. Honestly, people in ancient times might have already solved the problem of providing enough power for all I know. I'll need to research this properly. Had I confronted Raid right there and then, he would have said that he couldn't tell that the machine was special. Then he'd just hand it over to the Academia obediently, and he'd get away scot-free. If the wreckage were to be handed to the Academia, it'd be much tougher for us to do research on it or get spare parts for okay, Karkata. Oh. Anyway, we should figure out what they're planning before making our next move. I'm gonna need to they insisted that we should stay the night, oh, which means if they're trying to pull a fast one on us, they're likely to try tonight. We must be vigilant. Are those sounds coming from the excavation site? <laughs> I knew they wouldn't be able to wait. They must be scared that we might discover something tomorrow. Not a single person guarding the campsite. This must be quite the manpower expenditure. I'll see if they left any clues behind at their camp. Keep watch and help me. All right. I'm cap. Time to go. Why isn't the tent here yet? We need to switch it out tonight. It's still on the way. I'm afraid this is the first time we're delivering such a huge one. <sighs> you good-for-nothings are just a load of trouble, aren't you? We wouldn't have to deal with these interlopers if you had kept those lips of yours from flapping. Hurry up and hide our current tent and deliver the new one to me tonight, no matter what it takes. Huh? Who's there? Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm just a bit upset because my subordinates aren't doing their jobs properly. Uh, when did you get here? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Just a tent. We didn't pack up all our tents from the last campsite. Some of them, along with a few people, have been left there. Someone damaged our current tent, so I'm trying to get my subordinates to get one from that previous campsite delivered here. The relics in the ruins are highly valuable, so I'm worried that treasure hoarders and bandits might try to steal them. 
Since the tent isn't here yet and I right. can't fall asleep, I came here to patrol. Are you using living stuff? <laughs> well, these things are antiques after all. There will always be people interested in buying them. I hired so many people precisely because I was worried about that happening. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask, is the Academia really aware that you've traversed through the desert to come here in the middle of the night? Also, where's Farazan? Why isn't she with you? I'm right here. Also, you forgot to address me as Madam. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> Madam Faruzan. You were all making so much noise that I couldn't sleep, which is why I got the Traveler to find out what was going on. But for some reason, that one task took forever, so I came to check in on the situation. Hi. Ah, I'm very sorry for disturbing your rest. I'll tell my subordinates to be quieter on patrol. Good. Come on, Traveler. Let's head back. Yes, we came to check out the situation, didn't we? Well, we've already done that. We should right. get better rest so that we'll have energy to investigate tomorrow. Are they planning to pay? I think they have more funding for his research with them. <laughs> Looks like a pay. Doesn't have the lower. No way, dead one's going. Alright. There's something missing. Dealing with them. Now, I found something good on my end. These are the excavation records from their campsite. According to them, the ruins have been raided before, with numerous traps and contraptions having already been triggered. I also observed the wreckage up close earlier. The weathering is nowhere near as extensive as on the relics that have been buried for over a hundred years. There's no doubt that the wreckage in the ruins don't belong to the same era. Instead, it must have wandered into the ruins about a dozen years ago. It could have fallen into a trap or encountered a glitch within the ruins, remaining stationary like that until it was discovered recently. However, I still don't know why they'd want to hide it. I have no doubt that the researcher could definitely reach the same conclusion I did. The last few pages of the excavation records are written in code, which I still need time to decipher. The answer may lie within those pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wordplay. But if anything, that's, so that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> hmm. Just a bit more. Ah. I see now. Help! Please help! Idiots. Why are you running away? Come back! Protect me! They run off. What's that sound? Is it? You keep running. I'm just walking. I want to kill him. The Ruin Wanderer? Reactivated? <sighs> They're idiots. That's impossible. Is this the work of some kind of hidden mechanism? Never mind. We it's have to focus impossible. on saving lives just... first. I'll oh, cover them. Boy. You go stall the Ruin Wanderer. Forget it. It's just walking. 
What? It ignored the traveler? Why is it chasing after us? It's just walking. What it to reactivate? Oh. It's a good chase? Darn it! Hey, I don't even come think on, it's you lot! Them. It's clear Turn. that we can't escape, so let's just attack it! Turn, you idiot. It's just walking. Just turn a different direction. I want to help it. <laughs> it stopped? Hey, you guys. Get up there and tell me what's going on. But what if it suddenly moves? You... You good for nothings. Why is everyone I hired so useless? Move. I'll do it myself. What do you mean? Looks like this thing's parts can't handle the load of functioning anymore after years of disrepair. When it first reactivated, I was wondering if it'd be as amazing as the legends had pegged it to be. I didn't expect it to be so much weaker than it looks. How disappointing. Disappointing, you say? Now is that because you won't be able to sell it for much? Uh, Farusan, you may be my senior as an academia researcher, but that doesn't mean you get to slander me. You wrote these oh, excavation Sarah. records, did you not? Or perhaps calling it a ledger might jog your memory a bit better. Ah, uh, I... I don't recognize that thing. Ahem. January 3rd, excavated five tents. January 5th, three tents sold. January 10th, one special tent pre-sold. It must quickly be switched out with an old tent. <laughs> You're supposed to be an archaeological expedition team, and yet here you are, secretly selling the relics and profiting from it. When you believed that you had found the wreckage of the Ruin Wanderer, you tried to switch in wreckage that you had excavated previously to pull the wool over the Academia's eyes. After all, there would probably be many wealthy buyers interested in purchasing the legendary Ruin Wanderer in the Black Market, yes? And then we arrived just before you could finish your work. Mm. That forced you to speed up your plan and you tried to complete the switch overnight before I could investigate the wreckage. <laughs> in your haste, however, you accidentally activated the Ruin Wanderer instead. Did I get that all right? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. You lack the curiosity befitting a man of knowledge, nor do you have respect for mechanical life forms. You're not fit to be a researcher. Oh. Ridiculous! Curiosity? Respect? I'm not here to hear you preach. Hey! We're leaving. Mr. Aid! Behind you? Friendship! Friendship! Ah! Ah! Oh god. Yes, it's wished it. Why is it moving again? Run! Is he dead? Huh? Something. <gasps> Some said that it was like a giant, while others said that it was like a beast. However, none knew why it wandered the ruins. Technically speaking, the module shouldn't be able to move such a large machine chassis. However, I'm basing my knowledge on the mechanical life forms I've seen before. Centuries? Impossible. I heard nothing about it back then. It could only have been around for a few decades at most. Why is it chasing after us? So you've been looking for me this whole time? No way. It's your one. <laughs> Long time no see to Mimi. Hey, yes, that's that's in him. Name. You were controlling it. That's why it was so glitchy. Dear Farazan, I hope you're doing well. It has been over 20 years since you went missing. 
People from the academia keep telling us to give up and that you're most likely dead. But somehow, I feel like you're still alive. Yes, that you live still in some corner of this world. You've always been persistent, able to shine no matter what situation you face. I believe that this persistence serves you well in surviving and finding your way home. Unfortunately, I likely won't be able to welcome you home when you do. I don't have much time left and my reflexes have slowed. Others keep telling me to stop exploring ruins. Only Tamimi is still the same as before, always running off to places which you've been to. Your teacher and friends came up with an idea to remodel Tamimi so it can search for you in our place. You didn't like coming home back then and would always get Tamimi to send a letter back. Now we're leaving a letter with Tamimi. I wonder if it'll ever be delivered to you. I don't know the answer to that question, but if you ever read this letter, I hope it'll be when you've already found your way home. I regret not being able to say this to you myself, but, but I'll still, still feel sincerely happy, happy for, for you, you, my dear, dear daughter. daughter. Welcome home, Farozan. Look at you, Tamimi. You've changed so much after all these years. Thank you for waiting for me all this time. I've safely received the letters. Your work is done now. You can sleep. <laughs> the mechanical life form I encountered back then. When I would go on expeditions, it would follow me, take notes for me, and send my letters home. When I met with that accident, it was on the way to deliver a letter for me. I... I once thought that I'd never get to see it again. I didn't expect my teacher and others to remodel its self-repair function, upgrading it to self-learning. And so... In order to plumb the depths of unknown Art. ruins and overcome oh. dangerous traps, it repaired and modified itself using parts it found along the way. One decade of wandering became many, and soon... Tamimi, which used to be incapable of even moving heavy objects, became the Ruin Wanderer. Also, it could deliver these last letters from them to me. The strain to support such a huge body must have turned out to be too much for your heart, right? Even after the remodeling, its restitution module still can't function perfectly in perpetuity. It has been pushing itself beyond its limits over the past few decades. Just like a living being, mechanical life forms have a limited lifespan. It probably became trapped in the ruins all those years ago because its shelf life had run out. It most likely only reactivated because it detected my presence. And then it mustered up everything it had to deliver that last letter. Now, it can finally rest in peace. Tainari told you what happened to me, right? You don't have to apologize. It's not like this incident is a secret in the academia. Besides, I've always treated it as a failed experiment. As a researcher, I must accept this result. However, finding out that so many people were affected by my failure does make me feel somewhat conflicted. Can you head back to Pardis DI first? We've been here for a while, and it's best not to make Kale and the rest worry. As for me, I want to stay with Tamimi for a bit long. Ah, going there. Go. 
I'm very tired. Time I wipe them off. That's probably more. Okay. Okay. I'm back. We're gonna merge to Nini's parts. How was your journey through the desert? Wait, where's Madame Faruzan? Just dead. What? Oh no. She finally got to reunite with an old friend from a hundred years ago. But... As a researcher, she could perhaps accept it. However, as a friend... A student and a daughter? We should give her some time. Let's just wait for her here. And in the future, I hope that we can be here to support her as her new friends. We've all been waiting for you, Madame Farazan. That's more like it. Now, here are some components I brought back from the desert. Switch these out with the ones Karkata is using right now, and it'll be back in ship shape. Huh? Why do you all look so solemn? Come now. Liveliness befits youngsters more. Madame Farazan, did these parts come from... <laughs> Come now, I thought that you must have encountered some major problem. This isn't something you have to worry about. Well, it looks like you already know everything, but no need to feel bad. Like I said before, as researchers, we must learn to accept our failures. Tamimi had been operating beyond capacity for a century, and I'm unable to repair it with my current abilities. Not even with these parts. It would thus be much better to use them to extend Karkata's lifespan. As a senior, it is only right that I do something for the people who come after me. That holds true for both researchers and machines. Besides, I didn't say that I would be giving you these parts for free. They will only be used for Karkata temporarily. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to help me with my research. I'll be sure to revive Tamimi once I've fully deciphered and replicated the creations of the ancient civilization. Alright, right. I'll do my best to help. Bring Tamimi here also. Me too. Although, I'm not out, sure if out, I'll out. be much help. I might find out one way. Thank you. If they could they remodel to Mimi successfully even back then, there's no reason why we won't be able to do even better. And when that day comes, I'll be sure to say, Welcome home to Mimi. Probably another. Oh, I'm gonna have to call this one the last one for tonight. Figure it so we can start another one. Figure this one. Uh, oh, okay. You're back. How was your journey I through the now desert? This other one. That's my sleep from the face. So, Madame Faruzan has some other things to settle. All right. And to think that Rayid was doing all of those things on the sly. It's good that you all got out of that situation in one piece. Madame 
Kami-san will be able to repair Karkata when she gets back, won't she? That's my... Huh? He's just sitting there asking me out of my action. Alright, we better finish this one. Karkata is using right now, and it'll be back in ship shape. So this is a relic of an ancient oh. civilization? Unbelievable. Thankfully, it didn't end up in Rayid's unscrupulous hands. Unscrupulous, huh? Hmm. Sounds like you already told them what happened. Is that so? Thank you. We will talk about everything else later. It's nothing. I've already given all the evidence we have against Raid to the Academia. They're going to be very oh. busy. Too busy to bother us, I'd wager. <laughs> I'll start repairing Karkata then. Kale, can you help me out? Uh, of course! <laughs> it looks fine, but even so, it needs to... Alright. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's... That's what the hell? Ah, we're here. Thank you for keeping Tamimi a secret. If I tell them about Tamimi, will they still feel happy for Karkata? Even if we could convince them to accept the components, they'll probably still feel bad about it. I don't want my past to affect people in the present. That applies to both me and other people. Yeah. 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 It's fine. I'm used to this. I once believed that I'd never hear from my old friends and family ever again. Even their faces are getting hazier in my memories. However, I could remember them clearly again after reading the letter Tamimi handed to me and learning that they'd never given up on me. That's more than enough. I'd be disappointing them if I let myself fall into a slump because of this. Neither my teacher nor my mother would have wanted to see me like that. Besides, you're lending a listening ear to me now, aren't you? Oh, Pardius GI looks pretty scenic at night. Will you take a stroll with me? Once Karkata's condition stabilizes, I'll find a chance to tell Tainari and Kale about all that. But for now, just help me keep the secret. That's fine, we know. You wanna go play? Oh, we can play. I'm tired, bud. Yeah, okay, Thank play. you. <laughs> Whether it's a hundred years ago or now, I have people who worry about me. I suppose I should consider myself quite fortunate. The only time when I felt otherwise was when I had just returned to Sumeru. No one came to check up on me then. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, I'm home. Alright. Check it out. Last night I had this thing. Alright. Alright. Now it's time to head off. We have a nice night, guys. And I'll see you next time.